Um, right here I have Green Day's Road Case. I have uh, Pansy Division's Bass. This is my old Rickenbacker Bass that I used for about 35 years. This is Mike Roach from TSOL. He used this at the Inland Invasion show with the Sex Pistols and the Damned and No Effects mm -hmm. and Pennywise. Hundreds, there was probably 30,000 people that went to that show. So he brought us that one. It's pretty special. Uh, Pete from Sick of It All. This one came from Norwood from Fishbone. This is Mike Herrera from MXPX. This is uh, Pat Smears. Uh, guitar from the last Germ show he ever played and uh -huh. the first few Nirvana shows. This is Tim Armstrong's first Rancid guitar, as you can see. That is the same guitar, yeah. just before and after. Um, we have Fat Mike from No Effects's bass. We have Gabby from the Venomous Pinks. Miss Joan Jett sent us down one of her guitars and sign the back of the neck for us oh that's cool we have uh trevor from face to face <clears throat> joey capes me first and the gimme gimme's guitar spike from me first and the gimme gimme's brought us the ukulele john feldman from goldfinger this is chet lair's entire setup from the reagan's in album by wasted youth including the head he bought from greg ginn that recorded the first black flag 45 this is uh, Brendan Kelly from the Lawrence Arms. We have Fletcher's entire setup from the first couple Pennywise albums and tours. Mm -hmm. Rob from Strung Out. Eugene from Gorgo Bodello. This is Mick Rossi from Slaughter and the Dogs. Uh, first guitar, his mom bought him when he was like 14 years old. He was a big David Bowie fan. <laughs> yeah, and you could see Mick Rossi and Mick Ronson yeah, well, Mick Ronson was the guitar player for David Bowie. He didn't want to upset his mother, so he was going to carve fuck off on the back of that. But so he didn't upset her. He changed it to FC UK and told her it meant football club. <laughs> football club UK is what, it, is what it meant. But he wrote a lot of the songs for the Do It Dog Style album by Slaughter and the Dogs uh -huh. on that actual guitar. Oh, yeah. um, we have Wesley Willis's keyboard, the Rock and Roll McDonald's I Whoop Batman's Ass keyboard. We have uh, James Lynch from the Dropkick Murphys. Uh, Will from the story so far. And to end it off, we got Pete D from the Attics. Oh, and plus we have the washboard or the wash tub base. <laughs> and that came from the band Days and Days. That's cool. And anybody can come in here and they can pick them up. They can play them. We'll plug them into the amps and you can play them just, just like the bands did.